Hello everyone, and welcome to a special malware investigation. In this video, I've actually got something really cool. I've got a new tool running on the side of the screen that will enable to actually see the network requests by the virtual machine. So we can see wherever they're pinging, anywhere they're going, we're going to have all of that. So it's going to be really cool. I hope you enjoy it. It should be a different twist, something a bit new. Without that, let's get into the video. So they've actually set up their own domain rather than using someone else's, and that's kind of clever. And so far, we can just see the connections to Hack Dialog or Catalog. That's a totally legit looking website. It's possible this would be a different kind of scam. It's another kind of scam they use with uh, fake game cheats is something called a survey scam, where they will say that in order to verify that you're a human, you just need to complete a quick survey. So let's just see in case this one ends up being bust. Okay, this is a Binance uh, crypto. Okay, this is totally different, actually. It's called Easy X Trading. This is not, I don't think this is malware. I think, okay. So what these guys are doing is basically they'll uh, claim that there's a arbitrage opportunity, which is essentially an opportunity uh, to buy a coin at one price and sell it at another. And what they'll actually do, of course, is steal crypto. Okay, now let's see. Here's a funny one. This is an Ayurvedic, which is a kind of alternative medicine. I'm sure this is going to be a legitimate file. Okay, and that one's been been oof. Some of these are not even lasting 30 minutes. So this tiny URL does work. If there's any possibility this is a different Empress. The interesting is that it does run an IP lookup even though it refuses to run. I don't know if they're logging that or just trying to see. Okay. And it's again going to be over the max size for this total. Yeah, let's see if the uh, our old friend uh, Galaxy Swap is still still available. Now, okay, a simple red flag that works most of the time is that a legitimate download should probably not have a password protected zip. The reason they do this is because if you password protect the zip file, the antivirus won't be able to immediately find out what's in there. It's an imperfect solution because Antivirus, uh, especially if you use an obvious password, can try. But okay. Oh, and they even put the password as a as text. Okay. Seems like this one doesn't like... Oh, never mind. Uh, this one, in fact, does. This one did work. Don't be fooled. Okay, and here's the loader. So we can see that it went to this page. Now we get service host, which is not Windows service host. And it responds, okay, so first of all, we can actually read the messages it sent. So it sends, and then, so this is a command and control server here. Now let's just take a look at this site, you know, Linux VM. Find out if there's anything interesting. Yeah, it's not gonna let us, but so that's the first site. And we can, uh, one thing we can do is find out and file an abuse report. And then this is going to a different site. And this is where it loads the fake Civ host. Now let's run the fake service host. Now, okay, we've got another one. Okay. Now here, immediately it's trying to steal your Microsoft account credentials. And now it's going to download a different file. Oh, and now we've just created a paste. It appears we've just created a paste bin. Okay, let's see what that did. Oh, no, it's gone to a paste bin that's going to install a couple of different malicious files. Now, it's telling you some things. So it's going to install a GPU miner, which of course isn't going to work because this VM doesn't have a GPU. This is a, these are a bunch of executable files it's going to install. And so far, it doesn't seem like our information has been stolen unless that was done through that TCP file. But it's this one's a bit interesting because it's a bit diverse. It's found multiple uses for our system. And now this is all running. Okay. Now, 
Let's take a look at Task Scheduler, because that's one place that these things will try to set up so that they can persist. So what we get is this. DLL host. Microsoft Edge. And UZCT is also very likely not to be a legitimate application. No legitimate application should be installed in your user files. Oh, that installed itself. Okay, well, we can get rid of these. Shouldn't be in your user files hidden away. This one actually seems to... It should not be in program data. We'll have to actually go into File Explorer options to get rid of that. And that's another trick they'll use, because they know that by default, hidden folders and all of that is hidden. But we can, we can enable that. We can find this pretty quickly. We want to go to Program Data. Now, DLL host, another not legitimate. This is where our Monero miner is hiding out. Let's get rid of that now. The Monero miner is gone, and the roaming folder in here is also gone. Now, let's upload this one to virus total just to see if we can find out what this program does. And this is just the spam of uh, the built in spyware. This isn't, well, you can debate whether it's malware. Stolman would say it is. Okay. Uh, now this is seemingly okay. Heuristic behaves like gen generate. Okay, so this is cryptid. So it's not able to see what it does, but crypting is no one is pretending to be win log it. Okay. No one has even somehow falsely tagged itself as a system application. Okay, and we also need to kill this application in order to get rid of it. VG auth system, I'm pretty sure is another. Uh, Maybe that's maybe that's a VMware. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can kill that. And here is the fake service host, and we can find out where that's downloaded. It actually, installed itself into System Thirty Two. I think that's actually. Was that the real, or is it just be? That's interesting. Okay, let's see if there's any other actually uh, service host. Maybe these are... Because you can also... You can run through the real uh, process. Okay, smelt screen.exe. Let's just see where that... Right now. SI host? Is that real? I suppose. Okay. Let's see all these multi hop launches are not real. So we can end the process free. You can also go back to task schedule and see if there's anything else that looks like it doesn't belong. Get rid of this one. And this one. Now I've gotten rid of that. We can check if anything else has snuck into this folder. Hmm. Based on that, it's probably not legit. I'm going to get rid of it. This folder is also not legit. So that all the mess is dealt with. Uh, let's see. Installed itself anywhere else. Trick is just to run Defender and just see if we can scan. Now, I'm not hugely optimistic because it didn't catch any of this. It let all of these files install themselves and run. And we can also see that nothing is hitting the internet. Items skipped. Okay. Now, this is another thing you should check. Now, it's good that Windows actually notifies you here. What is not good is that the malware was able to do this without any notice to you, but we can get rid of these because this is essentially saying that these are probably filled with malware, and that's why the scan instantly finished. Now we might be able to find additional traces. You can also see there's no... No requests going anywhere interesting, which is a good sign, because if it's stealing your information, it's going to send it. I don't have a ton of faith in Defender, but it's it's like a good additional step. So we can go through, and we can see places that are excluded are always a good place to look and see. Is there anything hidden? Now that looks like it shouldn't be there. Being recently created is a bad sign. And these are just log files. Actually, might be yeah. I think this is actually legit. Okay, where else have we seen recent modification? Okay, so here's where the fake service host and console host uninstall WinRail. 
Let's also just send these over to Virus Total and see what they might be doing. See what this. Okay, so this is the one that executes UZCT, which I think is probably the stealer. Okay, this is okay. Here we go, Lama Stealer. And let's see what the fake service host is. This is okay. So my guess is that con host is the stealer and service host is the program that actually uh, steals your data. So let's get rid of these. Okay, so that's now gone. So actually, anything in anything in time, general Windows advice can be deleted safely. So that's another. And there's no reason for an executable to ever be in temp. It could be from a program installer. It could be from a virus. Okay, nothing interesting in here. Okay, let's delete all of these. Empress is still running. Oh no, it's running. It's open. Seven's up. Okay, do that. Okay, yeah, we already got rid of that. Remove all of these. That's a real Google Chrome setup. I was going to use to add another browser on here. Okay, now we can go through the process monitor. Check if anything looks at all suspicious. As long as these are not the fake service host, those look all right. Another useful task manager tip is if you don't know if a program is real, just go here and you can see where it's running out of. Okay, so now let's download one more tool. The Sys Internals Auto Runs. A program that will show you anything configured to automatically run. It's a really good tool because chances are any malware that wants to persist is going to operate through one of the means on here and it'll automatically highlight anything that isn't isn't digitally signed. Now 7 zip I trust, I installed that on purpose. Oh. Okay, so that was another way that had that was another way that one had hidden itself, but DLL host luckily we already got rid of. And it can also it can install itself multiple ways. Okay. Look just a tiny bit fishy, but we can We can upload those to virus total. See if they have anything to say. No, those look to be okay. This one is legit. Scroll down. It would appear that we've gotten rid of every single uh, problem. Hit. Another thing you can do is look at timestamp because that'll tell you when it was set up. It'll potentially give you an indication that you might have something. I always say hi to all Microsoft because you don't not going to be a Microsoft entry that's causing you problems. Okay, let's actually delete this outright so that it can't come back. Now we have a clean system. That's going to be all for this video. I hope this new approach was interesting, that we can now see what's going on behind the scenes. Try it again and maybe try some other kinds of samples with this new system. That's all for now.